In this video, we'll talk about possessive noun or possessive case. And we'll also talk about family members. First thing first, possessive noun. Possessive noun shows ownership or possession, just like the possessive adjectives in all other possessive forms. It is formed by adding apostrophe S or just only apostrophe to the noun. For example, Peter has a house. Remember, has is the present tense of the verb to have. Peter has. He has. In this sentence, we call Peter the possessor noun and house we call it possessed noun possessor noun possessed noun okay the sentence the house of peter peter possesses the house the house of peter now we want a more natural sentence and and we use possessive case or possessive noun let's see peter's house what do we do we just take the possessor noun we put it in front and then we add apostrophe s then we come up with the word house, which is the possessed noun. There are some rules. When the noun is singular, when I say noun, I want to talk about possessor noun. When the noun is singular, for instance, Cat, we see cat, it is a singular noun. The possessive case or the possessive noun is cats. Cats food in this case. Plural noun in S, ending in S. Cats is a plural noun in S. To form the possessive case, we just add only apostrophe, not apostrophe S, only apostrophe. Cats, food. You can see the, the pronunciations are the same. Cats, food. Cats, food. In conversation, the context will tell you if it is, if they use the apostrophe S or if they use only the apostrophe. Singular noun ending in S. For example, James. James's car. In this case, you can use apostrophe S. You can also use apostrophe. Both cases are correct. James's car or James's car, and the pronunciation is also the same. Plural noun not ending in S. We saw plural noun in S. This one plural noun not ending in S. You know, we have irregular plural. For instance, children is the plural of child. There is no S here. And you should use only, you should use apostrophe S. In this case, apostrophe S, children's chair. Okay, let's continue. There is an uh, exception. Use only an apostrophe for names like Jesus, Moses, and other ancient classical names. 
We say Jesus disciple with apostrophe only. We say Moses servant with only apostrophe. Note, don't use possessive case if the possessor is an inanimate object. We normally use the of phrase. For example, the window of the womb. The window of the womb instead of the womb's window. Possessive noun and sound. Okay. When there, uh, there is something you should consider when pronouncing possessive nouns. For example, Jeff's office. Jeff's. You hear the S sound. Jeff's. S. S sound. Charles' desk. Charles. Z sound. Z. Charles. Z. Lizzie's book. The sound is is. Lizzie's is. Okay, the second part is about family members. Here is a boy. His name is Daniel. He has one brother and one sister. Brother, sister. You can see on the left, the brother, and on your right, the sister. His brother's name is Kevin. His sister's name is Ashley. Kevin, Ashley. Here are Daniel's parents. His father's name is Lucas, and his mother's name is Kate. On your left, we have Lucas on the top, and on your right, we have Kate. Lucas married Kate. What about Daniel's grandparents? His grandfather's name is Bob. His grandmother's name is Lisa. We have Bob and Lisa. He also has an uncle who is his father's brother. His uncle's name is David. He is David. David is the son of Bob. He is also the son of Lisa. David is Lucas' brother. His uncle marries Anna, who gives birth to Linda. Now, Linda becomes Daniel's cousin. Anna, David. David marries Anna. Anna is Daniel's aunt. Anna gives birth to Linda. Linda is Daniel's cousin. Let's pronounce the words again. Family members, grandfather, grandmother, husband, wife, 
father, mother, uncle, aunt, brother, sister, cousin, son. Lucas is Bob's son. Kevin is Lucas' son. Daniel is also Lucas' son. Daughter. Daughter. Grandson. Grandson. We have Bob and we have Daniel. Daniel is Bob's grandson. Kevin is also Bob's grandson. Now, how to talk about your family? Before that, let's see these words. When you see mother, you can say mother or mom. Father or daddy or dad. Kids, children. Kid, child. Siblings refers to brothers and sisters. Okay, to talk about your family, first, you can start by introducing the family members. How to do that? You can start by saying, in my family, there are nine people. I have three brothers and one sister, my mom and my dad, and two grandparents. I am the youngest child, or you can say, I am the oldest child, if you are the firstborn, if you are the firstborn in the family. Talk about your children. I have four children, two boys and two girls. My oldest daughter is an artist. My youngest son is very intelligent. And last, you can talk about your relationship with your family. I'm very close to my family. I'm very close to my family. I often play basketball with my brothers, and we always visit our sister. We go to the beach once a month. Once means one time. Once a month. I love my family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.